Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of HFT Gaming. It's actually HFT Gaming now instead of her first time gaming of Hayden Plays Cuphead. It's been a while, so we're getting straight into it. Fighting, from what I can tell, is this game's version of Bluto, the villain from Popeye, two fine seamen. A lot of seamen here, he's squirting his little ink, his bits of ink at me. Will I parry his little balls of ink, his blobs, as he squirts his blood? I don't know. I'm trying to make really awful puns about semen, jizz, and masturbation. It's not going well. Let's just talk about the characters and the art design. Or I should say hello. It's been a long time. I'm very sorry for this. I've been getting caught up with like work and Sekiro and just general life. Everything is quite stressful, so... We're finally shitting back down for some more of this. I really thought I would have had it done by this stage, but just haven't had the time. So, yeah. Bluto and Popeye. To me, this, I don't know if this comparison has ever been made before, but they're kind of like the Mario and Bowser, their whole dynamic of, like, the cartoon world. Like, Bluto's always trying to kidnap Olive Oil and... Popeye's gonna have to go save her, and he has to get his pop power-ups in terms of his spinach to take Pluto on, just like Mario would have to go chasing after Bowser and start nomming on some mushrooms so he can get big and strong to save Princess Peach. Is th That's my hot take, anyway. There's some inspiration there. It might just be complete, complete, utter nonsense, but, like, who knows? The lipstick traces and all that real, Marcus. What is this angry bollocks above me at? There's a lot of to parry in this as well. I should probably be using my uh, specials a fair bit more. Ah. His little catfish. Even they're more like dogfish. Fuck! Halfway, not bad for a first attempt. Not bad at all. Your skills be like me buried treasure. Something. We'll change everything up. Change everything up. Change everything up. Change it up. Hmm. Hmm. I've never used this before. We'll blast him in the face with a charge. Am I ready? I'm, when am I not ready? Let's try this. Uh, not too hard to use. I mean, uh, aiming it is a bit difficult. 360 no scope! No. No scope, no shot, no landing the blast. Oh, God damn it! This is why I don't play FPS games. I am terrible at aiming. Just lock on. Just lock on. Oh, except that bastard's take aggro in the heat. Aggro in the heat of my auto lock on. Hmm. What's wrong with you, Boat Team at Boatface? Why so sad? Why so serious? Uh, calm the ham. Is Popeye still a thing? I like it's not some is it a cartoon or anything. Is he is he used in ads? I feel like they're like who owns Popeye? Like what what was that? Was that a Hanna Barbara cartoon? Or was that Dad said he's even older than that? I don't know. I remember there been like games of it. Maybe on like some sort of Nintendo system or on the I presumably it was on a Nintendo system when I was a kid. It was almost I don't wanna say like Donkey Kong. Mm, let's see. There, there definitely was a Popeye game. I remember playing it. Don't remember the cartoons too well, but I remember Bluto is just arrogant, strong. Possibly, uh, you know, a soldier. The way he's always trying to kidnap olive oil and what he wants to do to her. Does she like him? Even does she ever indicate that she might like him more than Popeye? Or are Popeye and Olive exclusive? I don't know. So much ink. Aha! Oh, you can beat them up. Cool. Your nefarious seed will defense stand no chance against me, the mighty Cuphead! Sharky shark face. Ha! Oh, yeah, damn it, Boaty. It's like he's chewing tobacco and spitting it out on me, except it's cannonballs! Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a lot of stress over here. This is infinitely more difficult than the last pirate-based thing I did in the game, which was uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean World in Kingdom Hearts 3. Which is probably my favourite world in the game for its sheer scale and variety, but like... Nothing was challenging about that game, was it? I suppose. What we have to accept now is that 
even though Kingdom Hearts, the original one, is my favourite game of all time, they are games aimed at kids, even though I do feel like the difficulty has not scaled. Like, they, like I, I could imagine going back playing one, and like that fight against Cerberus in the Colosseum, and even Anson, his final fight in the world, uh, the end of the world and all that. It just feels like one was a harder game, it's like they've dumbed them down as the games have progressed. From like, press triangle to win into to what we got there. It's like, ugh, ugh. But Sekiro's challenging me, which is good. I love it. It's a great game. Probably not my favorite FromSoft game. It's mechanically... Oh! Boaty, why would you do that to me? Laugh all you want. I'm gonna still blast you like this. I refuse to be hit. I will lose no health. I am Victor. Dodge. Dip, dive, duck, dive, and dodge, and dip and in dip. Chili dip. Dorito. Dorito Mamacito. Not a big fan of Doritos or anything like that. What is a chili heat wave everyone loves? It, it, in, it's kind of like a Mountain Dew-esque thing to me. It's like... Just, just seems so unappealing. I don't know why anyone would want to put that in their body. Then again, uh, let's not go down that path of thought. Blast off, Blastoise. It's not long now until Detect Detect Detective Pikachu. Actually, that should be a decent one. Ryan Reynolds as our furry compadre. It can't go wrong, can it? It's like Deadpool. It's like Yellow Pool. And Avengers Endgame at the end of the month. God, we have so much to look forward to over the next few weeks. It's only a matter of days, I'm pretty sure. Like, it, it is really coming soon. Like, by the time this video... No, it won't be by the time this video is up. Today is Tuesday the 16th. Is it the 21st that Endgame is out? Is that the weekend or ne early next week? I'm not too sure. I don't have tickets to the first few viewings of it because I hate going to the cinema. The cinema used to be like my going to church, but I just, over recent years, it feels like more and more fucking pigs in human costumes are going to the cinema that they'll just be there like, just not even chewing, just like hoovering up buckets of sweets and minstrels and shit. And it's just disgusting. It's like, they, they, we went to see, um, this isn't to do with food. Food annoys me most of all. But we went to see, uh, what was the recent Jordan Peele movie? Us? About two weeks ago, we were on Mother's Day, like the UK Mother's Day, EU UK Mother's Day. And we went with Laura's mom and dad in their hometown. And there was a guy just kept taking out his fucking phone, just on Instagram, just scrolling through throughout the entire movie. And like, no one said anything to him. And then he was like talking to the girl. He was like obnoxiously loud, like showing her things on the Instagram feed. And was like, this is not cool. This isn't okay. There's other people like you're, the glare off your phone is distracting everyone. Yeah! Rant, rant, rant and win. My anger and frustration toward that man in the cinema there. That's what got me through this. But will it have done me well? That is the big question. B plus, I'll take that. Kapat! We've got a bridge, lads! And Captain Briny Beard's soul contract! I'll wipe my arse with it, Briny Beard. I'll wipe my arse with it. Now we've got Runer Honeybottoms, Briny Beard, and we have Rugged Ridge, which was basically ancient Greece. All done. Flying through it. Okay. Let's fix some things up before we move along. We need, yeah. Because I'm going to do a level. This um, reminds me of, I don't know if anyone remembers uh, Mickey's Great Adventure, I think it was called, on the PS1. It was one of my favorite PS1 games, actually, of all time. Mickey's Grand Adventure, maybe it is. It starts off in kind of Steamboat Willie-esque kind of level. It's all black and white. It's like this on the docks and kind of piers and stuff, and there's all these crates around as well and hooks. But as you progress throughout the level, it turns into color, and then you progress throughout kind of more classic kind of Mickey movies. 
a lot of Disney talk in this episode so far. But yeah, no, that that game is fantastic. I, I might actually check out some Let's Plays of it later myself. It's been so long since I've played it. I just remember loving it so much too. It was like this part, almost like these flying fish here, except it was like, I want to say parakeets or something that you would jump on to get coins that are not the coins are for. And instead of Bluto, we had Pete, who was kind of the same obnoxious seafaring brute that we had to overcome. There was also a really simple uh, mini boss that was just like trying to outsmart a crane that was dropping crates or something. You just had to... Even Mickey's... Um... Oh no, he threw pellets. It wasn't quite like the bullets that we have now, but it was similar enough. That's why you were collecting the gold pellets. I think they used them as weapons to throw at enemies. Maybe. There were some really cool levels in it. Like there was that uh, hunter in the moose. There was the mad scientist. There was a haunted castle. A lot of goat stuff. And I think the prince and the pauper was the secret level that we unlocked sometimes. I don't know if we ever beat that one. There was a jack and the beanstalk level that was really cool. Ah, good times. Simpler times. Reminiscing about my favourite PS1 games on the day that the first bit of details about the PS5 have been announced. I don't really understand what's coming with that. Like, all the specs and stuff, it's like, we'll have less loading time between areas. Big, like, open world games will be able to render assets quicker. Um, backwards compatible, I suppose, with all older games. So that does kind of fit into my nostalgia a bit here. But, yeah. I like the idea of that the PlayStation is kind of keep the tradition like I don't want I don't want my PlayStation 5 to be some groundbreaking thing that changes the way I play games forever. That's what things like VR and the Wii are for, for that sort of experimentation and Google Stadia, I suppose, to an extent with the way that it's a fully a streaming platform. Like, I, I want my PlayStation 5 to be my box so that I know it's there in my sitting room that I find comfort in, that it's Alice in, it's my companion, that gets me through all this sort of fun in games. Yeah, it do, they don't need to break the wheel with the PlayStation. They just need to make more more great games. That was pretty good going. Okay, let's give this another go. Go, go, octopus. Hey, it's Acme. That's a uh, Wily e. Coyote where he, have, where he bought all his shite trying to kill the Roadrunner. I wonder why there's a hotel beside it. And a casino. You think there's some, uh, what is it, the chalice lady? Chalice Lady, I don't know, I forget what her name is. Miss Miss Chalice, we'll call her. Does her kind of part-time hours around there on the docks. Nah, she seems too classy for that. Oh, is this it? Bravo! Hmm. Quick, easy, and effective. Another B only though, huh? Not great. Not great at all. I thought I had done a slightly better than that. Why you hurt me, Cuphead? Why? Why don't you love me? I give you everything. Marine corpse. More marines. Jesus. Oh. This little tank dwelling rat. With what looks to be a Union Jack shredded to pieces up on his roof and a load of medals. Dice! Do not dice the springboards! It's a very, uh. I don't want to say it, but Nazi esque little salute that he's given. He's in an Andy Warhol can as well. What was the eye up there? Oh, Andy Warhol soup can. Not actually Warhol, but Campbell's. Campbell soup can. That's what I'm thinking of. Shouldn't be giving Warhol the credit for designing Campbell soup can. He's made it famous. Wait, right, yeah, yeah, he, he's a Nazi. That was designs well, Janil! Hmm, bit dodge. Hmm. Let's just change things up a bit again. Smoke bomb so we can dodge through him. Don't really need the help, we just need to be able to avoid his attacks. Let us go. Just looking at the difficulty settings there as well, that's a big thing at the moment as well since Secure came out, isn't it, people? Uh, the argument of accessibility or easy modes in games. I mean, uh, I, I don't, I'm not going to get dragged into that. I don't want to go down into that rabbit hole. Ugh. Hey, bro. 
A brawl is surely brewing, you say? You know what else is brewing? Some soup, some rat soup. I'm gonna fucking crush it and tear it limb from limb. I'll get my cat outside. She is a femme fatale. Koopo, come on, come on, Koopo. Let's kill the rat. She bought a poor baby rabbit in the bathroom. Wabbit? Rabbit. Into the bathroom window the other night. It was, it was horrific. Thankfully, it was fully dead. Normally, sometimes she just toys with them and you'll have something dragged in that's half alive just flopping around the place. But yeah. It's like, do you not get it? We're giving out to you when you bring this shit back to the house. Stop doing it. We don't want it. Piss off with your little trophies. A brawl is surely brewing. And begin! Okay, this is the one. This is the one. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my bombs. Is it chewing gum he's throwing out at first that I throw into springs? No, that's just chewing gum. Yep, different things, different things. Yeah, do that. Ein Reich. No, don't do that. Don't say that. Just because I know my history. Oh, now we're, we're going. We are progressing at pace. Bottle velvet chainsaws. But bottle caps. We're in fallout times here. And the super mutants are on the way. Ah, shite. Take all of my lobs. I'll just lob into your mouth. Lobber, 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 chicken clobber dinner. D this isn't actually too bad when you get the rhythm of it down. It's just about dodging correctly. Shit, spoke too soon. Come on. Come on. Come on. There has to be another phase. Just something to do with that cat afterwards. Smoke it up if you want. It's going to do you no good. Balls. Oh yeah, you even have the little British guard there. Tall you in the front. Oh, one of the Queen's guards at Buckingham Palace. Red hot like my temper. Red hot like the balls he's got. His little rat balls. Do you think this is gonna be kind of Tom and Jerry thing? Wasn't Jerry a little bit of a fascist douchebag in the cartoon as well? Did there, is it true or is it just an urban Like I remember the episode of where they're sitting, sorry I was talking far away from the microphone there, where they were like sitting on the train tracks really drunk and depressed. Did they, did, is, is that the last episode of Tom and Jerry? They just kind of commit suicide, they let a train kill them? Be grim if it was the truth, but also, you know, wow, ballsy, ballsy move. Oh, I'm doing dreadfully here, yeah. Shock horror. I died. A brawl is surely brewing. And begin. This is it. This is the one. I know this to be the one. A brawl is surely brewing. You're up. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. I don't think you realize how smooth I am, man. You can't you can't even understand how goddamn smooth I am. No hit run this sound. No hit run. No hit run, no hit run, no deaths, no deaths. You can't prove anything. I'll edit out all my deaths and retries. Yes. No hit run, balls. Ha! <laughs> 
I'm really concentrating here. I know it's unusual, but sometimes it happens. Come on. Just die! Why won't you die for me? He has an absurd amount of health in this round. No, no, we're true! Hi, <laughs> how are you, tomboy? Haha, <laughs> because he's a tomcat. Oh god, there's rat ghosts as well. I'm scared of ghosts, man. Please leave me alone. Mirrors and all, they all terrify me. Ceiling crumbling, ceiling crumbling. Why is his mouth a jail cell? That's weird. Hiss, hiss, meow. I'll put you down. Oh, God. Damn it. Gluten free! Why am I shouting gluten free? I, I, I cannot begin to comprehend, like... No, no one understands my pain here. They really don't. This is fucking agony. Please just accept your debt, man. Accept that this is it for you. There's no reason to fear it anymore. Embrace it. You get to come back as a ghost, like a cool, cool force ghost. Here's a real high class bout. Here goes. Yes. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. I actually went to Berlin for about a month. I lived there. I squatted there. I went over. I stayed. My first two nights we were in a hostel and I was waiting for a friend for her lease and an apartment. She was like, oh, well, the owner is coming back for a while. So I squatted there. Probably should have went to this story straight away after the German rat. Uh, what should I say about this much? Didn't I say? It was fun. There was a lot of fun. I did a lot of cool things. I stole, like, uh, the Stasi Museum. Went to did all the usual stuff. Brandenburg Gates. The rave culture there is something that is just unparalleled. I saw some crazy shit in some crazy, crazy places. A great slam and then oh, this has to be it. Surely. Come on now. Come on, Tambay. I miss the days of traveling around the world. I'm kind of stuck in a rut with what I do at the moment and just worrying about having money for rent, food, savings, student debt. Uh, the life of an adult is no fun. It's painful. Someone free me from this mortal coil. I am so over this now. I just want it to die. Just let me beat you. Just accept your fate. Just go away. Go to sleep and don't wake up. Please. 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 Okay. Final attempt. Bastard. Okay, okay, okay. We, we are in the last stage with full health and a special. There is no way that I can lose. You are mine, pussycat. I am going to smash you. 
Smash you like a... But yeah, come on, you do your little prittle paddle. Oh, look what I can do. Look what I can do. I can do that too. I can do that too, man. Oh, I'm better than you. Oh, I'm so much better than you. Oh, you're gonna... Oh, you're gonna have to like seal and fall on me. Oh, look at your paw. Your paw can do jack shit, man. You are nothing and I am everything. That is it. That is it. Oh, it's him controlling the cat. That's... Oh, that's some Inception shit there. A bee. A big fat bee. Yeah, I'd rate this episode a bee as well. Anyway, that's it for me for another week. We've got the soul of Werner Werman. We have only a little bit left to do in Isle 3, and I think we're drawing close to the end of the game at that. So thank you for your patience with how irregular episodes have become across all the Let's Plays that I'm doing with me, Laura, and Sekiro. So... Until the next one, whatever that is, live long and prosper. Peace out. <laughs>